I am Queen Miss Ebony J here speaking with an artist, um, a creator, and her name is Sarah J. Preston. She is the owner of Hi Fi Art Express, and today we're going to dive deep into what made her not only want to do this, but what is keeping her going. Sarah, how are you today? I'm really good. Well, thank you. Good and well. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad to be here. Look at all of your paintings. It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. So you got to tell me about how I, how you like, tell me what made you start your company. Okay, well, um, basically Hi-Fi Art Express is, um, it stands for high frequencies. And it basically means um, to elevate your mind within your space and think higher frequencies. And what made me start to do this was that, um, I was like trapped in a situation called life, you know. Um, I was homeless, I was broke, I was in a negative relationship, and I needed to change my life away. And I looked for the closest way to do that. And when I was a kid, I used to always draw and do art all day, nonstop. And I thought back on my life and I was just like, you know what? Before I needed anybody else, I always had myself. And I said, what did I do when I was by myself? I draw all the time. So I started doing that one day, and it was like 10 years that I didn't do any art. The day that I did art, it was like a magical movie. It was like God had came down and said, Sarah, what you doing? In my head, and I was like, what? And I was just like, this is just amazing. It felt like that. And I started to educate myself about art even further. And I realized that there are certain colors that mean things. Um, like, like rose pink means uh, love, self healing. Yellow is the color of confidence. Okay. Teal is the color of um, spiritual communication. And so I would put those colors in my paintings, and I would be in my environment, and I would ruminate on those pictures when I would like, you know, wander, and it would help me to think positive. And then I started mixing it with words and putting words into the pictures. It's basically an expression and a manifestation at the same time. Things that I would like to happen or things that I'm thinking. And so that's why it's called Hot by Art Express. So let's go through this painting right here because girl, it is so pretty. So it's her story. Like when we're looking at this painting, what what was your mindset in it? Um, so for a uh, two weeks you know i kept hearing about history ancestry it just kept coming into my reality my son was talking about it i would hear songs about it etc so i started to think about it and i was like okay what does that really mean i would think about like my family uh what people have gone through um for us to be here today you know black white doesn't matter you know there are people that came here before us and um, I wanted it, it to be like a representation of like a gift of today and within this picture, this painting, or certain keywords that I feel like would help um, a person be successful. These are the keywords that I've used to become better at life, like um, motivate, accomplish. And I feel like those are the keywords that really helped our ancestors to get us here today and I want to have some type of recording of that to show others. Who's your target audience? I really, I really focus on people that are that have been in the struggle or that are in some kind of struggle today and need some kind of motivation or like something to get them through and to make sure that they never give up. How long have you been painting? Um, I've been painting since I was like three years old, and there was a time where I stopped doing it. I was like fifteen. You know, and I was like, oh, I just want to see what life is about first. Like, you know, this ain't where it's at. I went to um, SCPA in Cincinnati um, for art, and I couldn't stand it because <laughs> they were good teachers, though. But I couldn't stand the part where they were trying to tell me how to do art. But at the time, I was a little bit ignorant. You know, I was a child. So. so I just went off and lived life, you know. And I was just like, okay, I had struggles. I had to learn through struggles. Yeah. You know. And through struggle, I learned that it taught me to be a master at what challenges came to me. Through failure, I learned how to win because failure taught me what not to do. 
And it's important if you don't win at something or fail, or you have a challenge, to write it down and figure out what happened and what you can do better, like what lesson can you learn from that. Now there's probably someone watching, 15, 18, shoot, she may be 30 or 40, and, and, and art is what she loves, it's always something she wanted to do, but she feels ill-prepared, she doesn't know where to go next. What advice would you give her? To do research. Who's ever the best at that field that you're interested in? Correct. Start researching that person, read their story, how they got started, you know, enlighten yourself and, um, you know, do what it takes. You know, don't, um, if, if you don't make it today or, you know, don't give up, you know, keep writing down your keys to success. Every time you fail, learn what not to do next time and then you'll know what to do. So head on over to the website HiFiArtExpress.com. Check out the site. There's already paintings available. She said there's stuff available on Etsy. You know, there's many different other platforms where you can go get some art. And if you have a special request, you can get it right here. You love the art, you love what you see, go ahead and check it out on the site. Is there anything else that you want to share before we go? Um, you know, stay high five. You know, I just want to make sure that everybody um, stays positive this year, moving forward, you know, and hopefully that high frequencies can help you elevate your space. You know, that's the goal. And, um, yeah, that's it. We hope that you enjoy what you see. Again, high five at artexpress.com. Head on over to the site.